Hey there guys, it's Tommy from Mobile DJ Tech Tips UK and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own DMX tester. It's very simple, so yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so to make your own DMX tester, you're going to need a couple of things. This includes a soldering iron and solder some blue tag you will also need some three pin male xlr plugs you will also need 120 ohm resistors if you don't know what they look like they have brown black and brown bands around them a glue gun but this is optional some leds i just happen to have a box with three and five mil led diodes and last but not least you'll need some electrical wire Okay, so the first step is to get your DMX plug and you just want it to start taking it apart. So I'm going to put the cap there. I'm going to take out the little plastic grommet like so. And then you just want to get the pins and you just want to push them out towards you like so. Okay, so then the next step is you want to go along and you want to grab your trusted blue tack. And what you want to do is you just want to grab a little ball like so and then you just want to kind of mold it you don't need too much but you just need enough to kind of make a base just so that the pins from the xlr plug don't fall while you're trying to complete the soldering process so right there that's pretty much all right for me right there and then i'm going to go along and i'm going to put the pins facing this way down and there's a reason being for this. Here you have pins one. Here we have pins number two. And down here we have pins number three. So what we're going to need to do next is we're going to need to solder our 120 ohm resistor to pin number three. Okay, so as you can see here, I have already soldered in the 120 ohm resistor into pin number three, just down there like so okay so then the next step is to get your little bit of electrical wire now i've literally just cut it down to size i've made it a little bit bigger you're going to see why obviously because the wire is going to be connecting to the negative side which is the cathode of the led now if you don't know which side is the cathode it's the little leg on the LED diode and the anode is the long leg which will be connecting to the resistor here that has the long leg. I'm going to have a diagram somewhere on the screen right now so you can check that out for yourself. So you just got to remember the long leg is the anode, the short leg is the cathode, the anode will be connecting straight into the resistor and the cathode will be connecting straight to the wire. Here right in my pack, I've got red, green, yellow, white, and blue. So I'm just going to choose green, just so that um, it's a color that I'm going to pay attention to. You can choose any color really, but I'm just choosing green. Okay, so as you can see here, now I have got the long leg being the anode, and the short leg being the cathode, all connected up. So once again, the long leg of the LED being the anode goes straight into the 120 ohm resistor. And then the short leg of the LED, which is the cathode, goes straight into the wire that's connected onto pin number two, like so. Okay, so as you can see here, now I have got the long leg being the anode and the short leg being the cathode all connected up. So once again, the long leg of the LED being the anode goes straight into the 120 ohm resistor. And then the short leg of the LED, which is the cathode, goes straight into the wire that's connected onto pin number two, like so. Okay, so once you have complete the soldering process, we can go along and we can remove the XLR pins from the blue tack. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put it all back together. So in order to put it all back together, there is a little plastic notch. I don't know if you can see that right there. There is a little groove inside, I don't know if you can see that also, right there. So what we need to do is we need to match the 
uh, the notch up into the groove and we just need to slide it in like so. And then the next step is we're going to grab this little grommet and then we're going to feed this over the LED and the wire etc. And this will just help to protect the resistor and the wire and all the solder. So before we put on the cap, what I like to do is I like to get some hot glue from the glue gun and I like just to put it around the legs of the LED and the, the top of the plastic grommet just to hold everything into place and then you can slot everything down. Okay, so at this point now the glue should be dried. So it's this point now where you can start to put the cap on the top of your LED diode. Now you'd know um, if you've done it right and everything is the right length, if the LED diode just comes and intrudes slightly just over the top of the XLR plug. So on the cap, the LED diode should literally just intrude just slightly over it. So what you want to do is you just want to gently line it up like so and then just start screwing on and if I have done it correctly as you can see the LED diode just intrudes up and it should look like so now it's completely optional you can choose to put some hot glue or super glue on the top of this uh, I wouldn't put super glue on top of it I would normally just put it around it um, I don't put any glue um, on top or around it because I've already hot glued the inside of the LED by the anode and the cathode so that holds it in place and that's it. That's how you make your DMX tester. Okay guys as you can see it's that simple to make your own DMX tester. It's very very similar also to a DMX um, terminator if you want to see that video the link to that video will be in the description box below. Plus all of the stuff I used in this video, I'll also link it down below so you can check it out for yourself. Um, if, if you guys like these kind of videos, you know what to do, hit that like button or you can hit that dislike button. It's completely up to you. It's your choice. Also, feel free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you guys anything. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for this part of the video. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.